On my second fight with Zulu, the situation was very different. Because since the first fight, I've been training hard, I've been developing my confidence, my, my, my hardcore competition skills. And I, from 19, four or five years later, about 24, 25, I fought him second time. So he not fighting an inexperienced guy, he was just dealing with uh, my best. So in that particular phase, the, the major broadcast television in Rio, in Brazil, trying to make a, a promotion of a box match, boxing match. And the public for boxing in Brazil is not that big, so they try to make a show which has no public. So in order for them to, to, be, to promote the boxing event, they try to make a, a freestyle Valentudo fight. And then they put Zulu to challenge anyone for a little over a month through the broadcast. He challenged anyone to fight him in this event. And nobody wants. So he's challenging anyone. For 15 days, nobody wants. So and then the promoters of the broadcast come to me and say, Higgs, you did fight him once. I'd like you to make a rematch with him because nobody wants to fight him. So can you do a rematch? I said, sure, I can do a rematch. If the price is right, everything is good, let's do it. And then we set up a fight. And uh, at this point, I was maybe not only fighting Zulu, but I was always representing the Jiu-Jitsu, the family, the community, which has always felt like somebody has to represent. And I was there to step up. So that fight gave me more in terms like Brazilian promotion. So give me a different status as become the representative of our state, our, our tradition, Jiu-Jitsu, so on. So, I was having the responsibility to represent the family and the, the sport. So, and Zulu, when he came into fight this time, he was not exactly crazy, unpredictable, because he knew it was not going to be a good end if he's just wearing himself out. So I was more like, he was much more strategic, much more calm. And, and right at the beginning of the fight, he threw me on the ground. And he's not just crazy, he stayed cool and put him... Before the fight, he put himself Vaseline in his skin and dry up. So the Vaseline just gonna show up when he starts to sweat and then become slippery again. So he was like soap. And he came in with all these strategies to make harder because in his mind he said, either gonna be a draw or I win the fight, but I don't wanna lose. So he came in not exactly to kick my ass, but to really make a good fight for himself to rebuild his reputation and so on. So, and he was very calm, very strategic, he tried to buy time, not to rush. So during the first round, he was saving energy and I was just trying my best, but was not finding, hitting him with the, the echoes on his kidneys a lot. And, and it started to damage him a little bit, but it was not enough. And then on the second round, I was able, he tried to go for, from my guard, tried to get my neck, I slid, slide to the side, went to his back and submit him. And a much more technical, a much more control, a much more intelligent. And, you know, was nothing exactly special, was not a damage, was not a, a scary moment in the fight. So, it was a better fight for me. It was a confirmation in my mind, my jiu-jitsu, my, my mindset was just going in the perfect way. So, I was a happy day in the office.